it had a huge impact on me when the Chargers left. It was like part of my soul was wrenched away from me. I watched what it did to this community, this community that I love, that, that, that did so much for me and who, who were such awesome fans. To see what that leaving did to them, I, I bear. I, it hurts. Literally every day in the community you run into people that share their story and you hear their heartbreak and that's hard. You've uh, had the opportunity, been given the opportunity, perhaps taken the opportunity to be a, a motivational speaker. Obviously you played in the NFL, but aside from that, what do you think makes your message resonate the way it does? Well, first of all, I love it. I, it's, a, it's a privilege to be able to address people and we all have to discover within us this indomitable spirit and how do you do it and how do you take adversity and turn it into something special. It's fun, it's rewarding, it's stimulating. I think I get to make an impact and, and that's rewarding. Ralph, I want to talk to you about the Ralph Benershka Legacy Foundation. Why the foundation and how do you even decide who the beneficiary is of so much goodwill? I took the lunch, 10 CEOs and presidents of leaders in the community when I was making the transition out and three of them said you need to join a golf course and learn to play golf. And I respect these guys and I did it and they were right. And out of that came the opportunity to build a golf tournament. And now we sit here 18 years later, the Legacy Golf Invitational has raised over $6 million. It started funding the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. Then we added Pro Kids. And every year we rotate a charity to something personal to our Legacy family. One year, uh, somebody's parents struggle with Alzheimer's. We funded Alzheimer's. One year it was MS. We give away anywhere from three to $600,000 every year to local charities. But it's these smaller move the needle opportunities that really excite our group. Not just with the economics, but oftentimes a hundred or $150,000 is a lot to move the needle. But it's also the exposure they get with our collection of legacy players who are leaders in the community, influencers in their own right, who have a heart and the means to make a difference. You know, you've written several books yourself. When the book is written about you, what would you like that book's title to be? Oof. It would be grateful. I guess it would be grateful. It would be a great title. I am so grateful. It's hard to express it to my wife and my family, to my parents, my brother and sister, to this community. I've, I've shared that with you. Um, to the medical science community that, you know, created treatments for my illness, surgeries, new appliances for the world we live in. My dad was an immigrant. You know, he was, he loved this country more because of the opportunities it gave him. He could never practice medicine where he was. And here he could live out the American dream. And I watched it and lived it with him and didn't appreciate that as a kid growing up. But when I look now, particularly in our current environment, I realize uh, how special that is. And so gratefulness is, is really uh, enjoying to all that. When you look at things that are left to do, for Ralph Benershka. What tops that list? We still have special needs kids that we are taking care of, that we need to make sure they're good when, when we're gone. I have a son who's a sophomore, about to be a junior in college at TCU, who I'm marveling at as I watch him grow up. And um, um, I want to spend more time with Mary, our family. Um, but I don't think I'll ever stop doing this in some capacity. It's rewarding. So even as I learned as a player, to deflect that attention. I think we have an opportunity still to do that with this sort of new mouthpiece through the Grateful Patient Project and the work we're doing with Legacy Health Strategies. Um, to make life better for patients is very fulfilling.